It's called a Ripley Scroll and it's an alchemical manuscript named after the foremost and most renowned of the 15th century alchemists, George Ripley. Alchemists had two objectives. One was to make the Philosopher's Stone a sort of mythical entity really, magical and wonderful, capable of transmuting a base metal into gold. The other aim was to manufacture the elixir that would give you eternal life and cure all ills. And the scroll is telling you how to do that. But all of these things are couched in rather magical and obscure and arcane terminology. It starts off with a picture of the alchemist. Now the alchemist has some sort of analogous role to a creator figure and he has his hands on the philosopher's egg and it's a glass flask in which you make all your experiments, your distillations and your calcinations. The next section brings you down to the philosopher's tree which is shown as two sort of superimposed basins and there's a little figure who sits rather indecently exposing himself was clearly the opinion of an earlier owner because he's now been supplied with a rather discreet pair of black knickers. Underneath there's an inscription that reads the Red Sea, the Red Loon, the Red Sol and below that is a green dragon spewing out a toad who's uh, labelled the Tawning Vermin. Beneath some verses then, there's a heading, here is the last of the red and beginning to put away the dead. Now you move on to your next aim, the manufacture of the elixir of life. It has a red line and a green line and they're both sort of corrosive materials, it's believed. Through this you're shown underneath a, a wonderful sort of emblematic sun the bird of Hermes, and then you go down toward the most dramatic and fantastic section of the whole manuscript, the Serpent of Arabia, with a moon bringing together the red stone, the white stone, and the elixir of life. And then, interestingly, you have the signature and date of the man who compiled it, Leonard Smedley, 1624. Alchemy was, at the time, viewed as a, a proper scientific discipline, regarded perfectly seriously, and Newton himself undertook lots of alchemical investigations, and one of his notebooks appears to show a copy of the beginning of a Ripley scroll with the diagram of the philosopher's flask with all the little roundels in it. The scroll gives you a wonderful insight, I think, into medieval and early modern ideas of science. A great deal of the manuscripts that we see, and we see and work with wonderful manuscripts, they're usually much more conventional. This is wonderfully, colourfully, exotically wacky and very enjoyable to, to work on and work with. <laughs>